So in today's video, we're going to make a custom footer for our website without using Elementor Pro, but we are going to be using Elements Kit. Now this isn't a preferred plugin for me, this is just one that I have found that works quite nicely. But if I do find another one that's better, then I'll make a video about it. So making a custom footer with Elements Kit is pretty much the same process as making a header. Um, the only difference is when we're doing the initial setup, instead of saying header, we just say footer. And there you go make your own custom footer. As with the headers, there are already pre-made templates that you can just select if you want to. Um, in this example, we're not going to use a pre-made one, we're going to make one from scratch, so you can see how easy it is. Um, but to save time, you can use, use one of their pre-made ones if, it's, you know, if you're happy with it, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Anyway, so let's get into this. So here at the back of our website, what we're going to do is we're going to hover on Elements Kit and we're going to select Header and Footer. Now if you don't have Elements Kit enabled, please just download it and activate it before proceeding on this tutorial. So now from the screen of header footer, we're going to select add new at the top. Okay, so on this new screen, we're going to add in a title, we're going to select the top that's going to be a footer and we want this for the entire site. So our title is going to be example footer. I'm going to select it as a footer and I do want it active. I'm going to say changes. I like doing things in increments and saving in increments just in case I get disconnected from my website. So now that I've saved the, the example footer, I'm going to click edit and then at the bottom of that same screen, I'm going to hit edit content. Now this is going to load Elementor and we're going to carry on once it's loaded. Now that Elementor is loaded, we can start off by adding our sections. Here in the screen, you can just click on the elements kit icon and it'll show you the different templates that you can select. So over here, you can see the category. I'm going to click on footer and it's gonna show you all the footers that you can download right now for your website. And if you like any of these, you can just obviously just select it and then insert it. But for now, we're gonna make ours from scratch. Now my footer that I'm gonna be using over here is going to be very symmetrical and balanced. I'm not gonna have left sections and right sections. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just I like having a footer like this. You can have contact forms, subscriptions to MailChimp newsletters, whatever you'd like. There's no wrong way of making any section of website really, it's to your tastes. So with me, I'm just going to have social icons and a copyright at the bottom. So here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus sign, I'm going to add a section. Now this section I want it full width and I think everything else is fine. I don't need it to be stretched, really. And the default is I'm going to have footer. Now I'm gonna have two footer sections here, so it's just the way that I want it. I'm not gonna have intersections too much. I don't like using intersections too much um, because I don't want the excess nested divs inside the code that's in the back end of your website. Now that we have our section, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the nine dot icon. I'm gonna add a heading. I'm gonna put it center. And I'm going to say, keep in touch. Uh, the default heading I'm going to keep as a, a H2. Um, the color, I'm going to have it as a black. I want the typography, let's make it letter. There, I want to transform in uppercase and I want the weight to be a 400. That looks good. Next, I am going to click on the nine dot icon. I am going to scroll to elements kit section. I'm going to look for the social icons. Here we go. I'm going to click, drag, and put it underneath the heading. There's the Facebook, the Twitter, and LinkedIn. Now you can see on the settings on the left hand side that there is Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. If you want another item, say YouTube, we're going to click add item. The icon we're going to change to YouTube. We type out YouTube. We can select any of these YouTube icons. I'm going to select this first one. I'm going to say insert. And you can see the link. I'm going to just say YouTube. Obviously, you'd link to your channel on YouTube. This link options. I'm going to say add in new window. I prefer having customers going to the social networks in a new window and to keep my website in its original tab. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want to, it's just a personal preference that I like. Now we can select the colors if we want to change the colors, the background color as well. The hover colors if we don't like them, which I don't, I'm going to say that the primary color must be the 
the color of hovering. Now obviously I'm going to do the same settings of YouTube with the background hover color as primary. I'm going to do it to all the other social networks as well. So I'll go to hover, I'm going to set them all to primary. Now that I'm happy with that and I've added in all my different social media icons, if I don't want some, I can also delete as well. So don't forget that. And then I'm going to keep these all in. Now that I have this section the way that I want it, I think I'm going to add just a little bit of space just to make things a bit more spaced out. I'm going to take the space widget, I'm going to put it above, I'm going to duplicate it, put one at the bottom, duplicate it again and put one in the middle between the heading and the, the social networks. I'm going to change the space to about a 20 and I think that's fine. Now let's add a new section. I'm going to add a new section just like it did. This one I'm going to say full width. Also I want this one stretched and I'm going to put this as a footer as well. Now the background color on this, I'm going to make it as a dark charcoal. I'm going to click on the section uh, settings, which is the six dot icon in the middle of the section. Then on the left hand side in the settings window, I'm going to click on style. Background, I think maybe I'm going to use a gradient this time. I'm going to use a light gray and somewhere in a darker charcoal vibe. And then I'm going to switch the type to radial and then make the center one just as maybe a 30%. Maybe make it 35. Yeah, that's fine. Over here, I'm going to add a new heading. I'm gonna make a center aligned. And then for the title, I'm gonna say copy 2022. My website. Now I'm gonna change the color to this to white. And let's change the styling of this this text as well. So I'm going to change from Roboto to Lado. The weight I'm going to put is a 400 and the transform I want it all in uppercase and I want the size of this to be maybe a 20. I think I'm going to add a little bit of space as well in this bottom section. I'm going to add one underneath the writing, I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to add one on top and I'm going to set these to maybe a 10 space each. Now if you don't like that whole gradient look and you want to change it, I can select the section again, I'm going to click on the six dot icon, I'm going to go to style and instead of the gradient icon as a background type, I'm going to select a single color and I'm going to keep it as maybe a darker gray charcoal. I can also make the spacing smaller, so make it as a five, and then I'll do the same at the bottom, make it as a five. If you don't want the spacing at all, you can just take it out. All right, so, but I think that's fine for this section. So now that I have the sections the way I like, I'm gonna add a little bit more style to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the top section. I'm gonna go to style. I'm gonna go to shape divider. I'm gonna add a shape divider underneath in between the two sections. So the shape divider, I wanna set it at the bottom. And here I have all the different types that I can select to put a shape divider in between these two sections. Now I chose the top one because it has a lot more space to work with than the bottom. So let's just try with a tilt. The color, I'm going to put the color of the bottom. So now we have something to play with. And now we can set the height of that tilt. We can select something else, so like a zigzag. And we can play around with these as well. We can bring it down and put the width a little bit wider if we want. Um, let's try something else. So maybe a waves brush. Obviously the settings of the old one was way too crazy. So we can put it a little bit higher. So now I'm going to set it as waves brush here. We can always change it whenever we want. We can come back into this template and edit it. So now that we're happy with our template, all we have to do is update. And there we go. Our template is done. So now if I preview it, you can see how it'll look on the website. And that is our own custom footer for our website. Very easy to do. Obviously, you're not limited to anything. Please do play around. If you want to add a contact form, a contact button that links to the contact page, anything. You can just do whatever style you want, as many columns as you want. You can also put a menu if you want to have a menu at the bottom. You can put more focus on selected pages. You don't have to have your entire menu spread out at the bottom. This is your own website. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.